Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette. And yeah, today is kind of like a what I eat in a day, but also a clean with me type vlog. <laughs> We're just gonna say it's a, you know, day in the life. We're just gonna say that. It's a day in the life vlog. I did some cleaning last night. I washed my bed sheets. I made my bed this morning and I vacuumed as well. So my room is clean, but I have a pile of laundry right next to me that you can't see that I need to do. So I'm gonna fold that. And then also I have laundry that's still being washed and dried currently. So gonna be doing that I also need to go through my bathroom cupboards and just reorganize I, I think I kind of want to do my bathroom and my closet and just evaluate the things that I have and see if there's anything that I can give away and in my closet is not just clothes like it's kind of a storage situation but yeah we're gonna go through that as you saw this morning, I made my matcha latte. I've been having a matcha latte almost every morning. And I'm just gonna say it. I'm not a coffee person. I can't do the coffee. It's too much on my system, especially if I were to have it every day. I'm also going to have my Trader Joe's Fruit Crusher. It's the apple and carrot one. I've been starting my day with like matcha lattes and then applesauce. Speaking of which, I need to take my nasal spray. Have my reminder. Take that every morning until that's out. I don't know about y'all. But I love applesauce. Always loved applesauce. Always been a fan. It's the best. But yeah, I'm going to just kind of drink my matcha latte kind of leisurely. And I then am going to get started on doing my laundry, which is, you know, literally an arm's reach.
I also got my nails done recently. I really like them. Noelle did such a good job. And I had actually asked y'all on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle down below. You can go check it out, but I like asked y'all on a poll if I should go with a black colorway or a brown colorway and y'all voted black with short nails. And these are like short nails, as you can see. They're not super long and I honestly prefer them short. Like this length is actually like perfect for me and this shape, I really loved the square shape. I thought it was really cute. But honestly, like for everyday life, this almond shape, like rounded, is just so much better because it like is so much slimmer on the sides. So it's easier for me to pick up stuff because I really be cracking my nails on the sides. And I mean, even when I wasn't getting my nails done, I would be cracking them on the sides and splitting them and uh, it was the worst. But anyways, I am going to take a little breather and then we'll do laundry and clean and organized and I'll take you through my day. I have an appointment today, but today's pretty chill. Like I'm not really doing that much. I plan on editing and filming actually. I have some videos that I need to film today because today seems like the perfect day. Tomorrow is Sunday and I'm pretty booked and busy with friends. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of like one-on-ones. I have a lot of one-on-ones tomorrow and then, um, yeah, so I won't have time to like film as well as edit. So I'm getting all that stuff today done and yeah, we're just going to go through my day. This is already a really long intro, but y'all know I'm chatty. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at and hopefully if it's, you know, good weather, hopefully you can get outside, do something fun. But even if you're not having a good day, I hope you can take like even five minutes out to do something that you like and that can bring you joy. So yeah, really, really do hope your day is going really well and I will check in with you guys when I'm doing lunch. going to head to the gym after my appointment which hopefully I'm not running late for but yeah I'm gonna head to the gym so I'm gonna leave y'all here because I'm not taking y'all into the gym with me um, it's probably gonna be really full on a Saturday so 
Yeah, I'm out of breath because I like changed into something and then I realized, oh yeah, I said I was going to go to the gym today. And I didn't wake up early enough to go to the gym when I wanted. So I was just like, I'm going to go after my appointment. So that's what I'm going to do. But I will check in with you guys when I get home. I'm actually going to make food when I get home, some salmon. So I'll take you through that and then, you know, we'll kind of go through doing a little bit more cleaning because... I just, I don't know, I, I, I want to clear, organize some stuff. It's organized, but it could be organized better, you know, efficiency. Anyways, I'm breathing hoard. And I need to go to my appointment, so I'll check in with you guys later. That's good enough. Um, so I just got back and realized that I actually cannot work out today because I got laser hair removal. I'm doing a whole video series on it, so you will see that. But I can't work out for like 24 hours, essentially, <laughs> after the treatment because laser, it's a lot of heat that is going into your skin and you don't want to put even more heat. You also don't want to sweat and, you know, it's just basically like the aftercare. You're not supposed to do it, which totally understand i realized like when i was like five minutes away from laser away i was like i don't think i can work out because i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to sweat after so that was kind of a bummer but i went grocery shopping <laughs> not really i just got like a few things so i'll share so if you've seen my recent um grocery haul i got this juice that was pineapple coconut but when i recently went to sprouts they no longer had it like it was sold out so i went to whole foods and i was like oh maybe they'll have it there they didn't but they had the coconut and the pineapple juice so i'm just gonna mix them together because i really do like them together and i don't want the pineapple to be super acidic so the coconut's gonna help cut that acidity i got two of these frozen burritos because y'all know i love these i got two um ice cream sandwiches and i got it in the horchata um flavor it's horchata rice milk cinnamon frozen dessert with snickerdoodle cookies so and then got some chips because they were on sale and i bought salsa recently so I'm gonna have some chips and salsa as a snack. But it's currently 11, so what I'm gonna do is marinate my salmon. So I'm gonna do that with y'all. And then, um, you know, snack on some chips and salsa because I want the marinade to at least be for 30 minutes and then I'll cook it, um, which will be just in time for lunch because it's currently, 11:40, so i probably won't let it marinate too long because your girl is hungry <laughs> i thought it was like 11 but it's not it's 11:40, which makes sense i'm shaking can't really it's like hard to see okay there it is it's showing <laughs> meaning i'm hungry so gotta Put this away. Also, I bought this sauce and realized it was the wrong sauce. And I bought it on January 5th. And today I was like, oh yeah, I need to like return this. And I like had opened it or whatever. So I went on to, because I got it from Whole Foods and Amazon. And they were like, oh yeah, we'll just refund you. No need to return it. Um, I feel bad because like, I mean, can't no one can use it because I, I opened it. And then I realized later like, um, right as I was opening it, I was like, oh, this is the wrong sauce. Because <laughs> um, I don't know, I was in my mind, I was thinking Trader Joe's when Whole Foods is not Trader Joe's. So don't worry, I got my Magnificent sauce, but they look similar, you know, in color. Um, yeah, I realized it was the wrong sauce. I did try it. I don't like it. It's not my favorite, but I think it's because I'm accustomed to the Magnificent sauce. So... There's that. Oops.
not bad. It says hot pico de gallo, but it's hot, but it's like one of those that build, you know, like gradually. So I don't think it'll make my nose drip, but. So the salmon is done and honestly, yeah, it's done. To be quite real, I basically had so much chips and salsa that I finished the salsa and I was also, ugh, I was also watching RuPaul's Drag Race and just got caught in the moment and I'm not hungry, <laughs> like at all. I'm not hungry at all. So I am going to, I think I might wanna cook this. Mm, no, it's cooked. Mm, and it tastes good. I like my salmon very um, lemony. Let me just Paul RuPaul. Let me just Paul. Let me just pause RuPaul. So it's not starting because I had it on mute. But yeah, I mean, you can see it in the background there. Watching season seven. And I'm on the twins episode, which is exciting. Let me unplug my air fryer. But it's currently 120. So yeah, that chips and salsa. I finished all those that salsa. Did not finish the chips. But yeah. That salsa was good. Like the citrus part of it was just exactly what I needed. But then the end of it I was just like, my mouth is feeling very acidic. So <laughs> what I had after was um the ice cream sandwich and yeah, like I am so full. I can't eat anything else. So probably have some later, but at least my protein is done and dusted. 
and yeah it looks delicious and refreshing so i'm excited and i would typically have this with some sort of green vegetable maybe the um it's the green vegetable for some i also have some carrots i have cauliflower i have mushroom so yeah i could also do that as an option and oh i need to actually have my good belly i bought this because when i was at sprouts and they didn't have the pineapple coconut juice i was like i'll just buy this as an alternative um and so i mean i'm still kind of full but at least i can sip on this for a little bit so that's what i'm gonna do and my laundry the last loads of laundry okay dogs are going ham uh downstairs makes me want a puppy though my friend is actually getting a puppy really excited for her it's, good. it's a cute little puppy but um yeah this is the mango flavor i've had this brand before the good belly probiotics it tastes like a mango that's like about to be ready does that make sense so but it's still pretty good it's not that bad but anyways i oh that's what i was saying my laundry i only had my like last second to last load was just like a dress and pajama sets and like some socks or whatever that all were kind of like lighter colored clothes and i didn't want them to get stained by my darker clothes so i washed them separately but it was a really small load and then i had my gigantic blanket and that's gonna go on my bed so yeah really settling into the cozy season vibes for my bedroom and yeah just using the blankets that i already have to add that texture and dimension yeah this is kind of like a dessert i mean although i did have that ice cream sandwich and that's a legitimately dessert but i'm gonna take you through shortly me kind of cleaning out my bathroom cupboards and i also need to film a video later like the perfect time honestly like the lighting is beautiful but i also want to finish this episode so i'm halfway through and also because of how full i am i just want a moment to just like let my food settle but yeah i'm gonna check in with y'all when we go through my cupboards i'm hoping it's gonna go well <laughs> All right, it's time to take y'all through my cupboard and show you the atrocity that I am dealing with. <laughs> so, it's a lot. <laughs> basically just looking kind of you know close up you can see things are kind of organized but not and this is like all skincare hair care you know um feminine hygiene products that i use like pads and stuff like that some nail items some nail care items and like some travel bags in here as well you know got my reusable bag i use that to travel sometimes if i have like bigger you know bottles like these i'll put them in there just in case that they do spill they at least spill in a reusable bag so that's kind of i mean i even have bug spray that one right there is my bug spray and then you know some shaving kits mind my feet but this is you know the atrocity that we're working with it's organized chaos and i just don't like it because i feel like i can't really see properly everything that i have and i have some doubles of stuff but i just want things to be a little bit more structured and organized so that is what we're gonna do 
today is literally take everything out. Um, fortunately, I have this entire area lined. Any, like, I mean, I've been renting. I'll show you guys my face, hold on. But yeah, I've been renting for a long time. And so I, like, I don't have my own home. She hasn't purchased her own home, which is totally fine. But with renting, I just want minimal cleanup, especially if it's a place that you're living for a long time or if it's temporary. And I line all my cupboards, everything, including in the kitchen, just because if something spills in there, it's so much easier when you move that you can just like take up, you know, the lining that you place down and throw it away. So yeah it's really i mean i think you can reuse them but just with all the stains and the grit you know the grit and the grime and stuff i just throw it away because a lot of the times what fits in this space can't fit in another space just because dimensions are different almost everywhere you go so i'm gonna work on taking this out and kind of cleaning it up i think i'm just going to do a time lapse why did I say that weird? A time lapse of everything. Everything that's on top of my counter is everything that I use on the daily, so I'm not gonna touch that. Um, minus a few things in the corner that I recently got that I'm gonna put underneath. But I'm going to basically organize this and also create a pile of stuff that I can give away to other people um, if I feel like they might be able to use it. If Especially if I feel like I just don't need it type of thing so yeah i try to have like a minimalist approach just because i hate having a lot of excess but you know when it comes to like skincare and body care and also like feminine hygiene like pads and um tampons and overnight pads and even just like medication dental stuff like it's kind of hard to not overbuy um you know have a backup just in case like having a lot of pads is like that's something i will always do just because when you're on your period you go through so much and i do have a diva cup which is in here I won't show you that fully but it's in there and but i still will wear a pad um at night along with a diva cup because you know spillage could totally happen and it's a major part of feminine hygiene and just being able to have that and also like I could start my period in the middle of the day and I'm usually pretty good about like just knowing I feel like anybody who has a period you kind of just know when you're about to have your period you can like you can sense it even if you don't track it you can just like kind of sense like I'm gonna probably start today and it could be in the middle of the day so I'm gonna wear a pad just to be safe that's kind of what I do so I'm going to time, lap time lapse this and then, you know, take everything out and organize things. It's going to be pure chaos, but it needs to be done. I'm like, I told myself I had to do it this Saturday. So, wish me luck. <laughs>
so everything is looking way more organized and in place. Basically have a little bit of body care and dental stuff here, a lot of backups for skincare and masks, as well as some body care um, items. So I have like some body oils and my nail care, extra like, um, like muslin cloths and stuff like that to take off makeup, traveling little bags here. Um, this is meant to call if you're Panamanian, you know. Um, have some alcohol, uh, sunscreen, and some soap. And then obviously like feminine hygiene. Um, I have bubble bath in the back. And then I have my backup makeup remover from Bioderma. Um, cotton pads to take off um, nail polish because I still paint my own toenails. So that's why all my nail varnishes are here. And then hair stuff. And then anything that's like... Um, you know, to treat myself or take care of myself, like medicine and stuff, um, is there. And this is all that's left. I have wig items. Um, this is tissue. I'm going to keep that for sure. And this is like a moisturizer that I'm going to see about giving away just because it's not really for my skin type. So, and yeah, and this is um, an old Clarisonic. I am probably gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of the head for sure, um, cause it's been on there for a long time, but I'm gonna see about, you know, donating this or something, cause I honestly just don't use it and I don't see myself using it ever. Um, I mean, it still works, but I don't know. I'm gonna see if my grandma will want it, cause I feel like she would really like it. So maybe instead of donating, I'm gonna see if family or friend can take that. And then this is all just wig stuff. And I don't wear wigs anymore. So I don't plan on going back to wigs. They're just really uncomfortable on my head because I have a big head. So yeah, that is it. And these cupboards is just like cleaning stuff. So it's like, you know, does it really, it's pretty empty, but it's like all cleaning stuff that I use and I have toilet paper back there. So I would say this is way more organized because there was just a point where I was just throwing stuff in here and yeah, and now everything is more organized. So it's currently 3.30 and honestly, I, I don't know. I feel kind of like, I don't really want to do anything for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to film tomorrow just because tomorrow kind of opened up a little bit, um, especially in the morning. So I'm going to film tomorrow morning. Hopefully the weather's good. I should probably check that first because the lighting's good, honestly, right now. And if it's good right now, then I could film. But if the weather's not going to be good tomorrow, then I should not film. The weather's going to be good tomorrow. Um, it's going to be sunny, girl. It's going to be real sunny. So I'll be fine to film tomorrow, which is great. I'm thinking of instead of like filming, because I'm just not really in the mood to do that right now. I am going to see about going to Ikea and a thrift store today because I definitely need a vase because this, you know, mason jar situation is just not cutting it for my flowers. I am trying a new thing where I buy flowers um, every couple weeks. So like basically when I go and get groceries from Trader Joe's, I buy myself a fresh bouquet and I really like the flowers that I chose but I feel like I just can't enjoy them as much because they're really bunched together in a mason jar and they should not be. So I also need a um, another pot as well for one of my plants. I need to check one of our storage unit to see if I have a pot for one of our plants but I really want a new vase. And so thrift stores, ARC specifically, has 50% off on Saturdays. So I might go there 
um, and see if I can find like a cool fun vase because I just want something that's like more ceramic not glass because I feel like the glass doesn't add as much interest and I want something kind of funky and weird and cool so that's what I'm going to try to do I'll take you along for that and yeah I just need to do a little bit of laundry as you guys can see um I thought I did it in my head but I guess I didn't so I just need to put this away um you know fold hang up and that's it and then I need to arrange my um blanket here on my bed so that it's properly like styled and makes me feel more cozy in my room but yeah I mean I really want to do like more in this space like I had big plans of like I'm gonna make a macrame thing and then I I didn't do that and I have the macrame stuff but I just haven't done that so maybe that might be my project for the year is to try to make a macrame piece to hang in your room um, and if I don't do that I need to just get rid of the macrame stuff I feel like I know in my heart I'm not going to do it. I feel like I just know it in my heart. <sighs> so I actually might give that macrame stuff away. I know someone who would use it and like make something really cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't think I'm into it anymore. Like I'd rather just have cool art for my travels and I haven't traveled so I think that's the reason why I haven't put anything up. So, yeah, anyways, I am going to charge this camera because the battery's dying, and then we'll go to the stores. We are on the way to Ark right now, but it's like such a pretty sunset, like the sky is blue and there's like a lot of pink clouds like pink orangey clouds but they're getting more pinker by the minute it's so pretty um but yeah i almost ate it getting into the car because i needed to throw something away and it snowed the past few days in colorado and so a lot of areas are <laughs> icy on the ground girl and i'm wearing adidas you know like the flat sneakers and they don't got that grip they don't got that grip so i was like okay don't don't do this don't die <laughs> yeah the moon is out too like high in the sky and it's just so pretty like oh i just i love sunsets i love sunrises too but i love it like when you get like a nice magenta color like i like when you can at least see that Ooh, so nice. I don't know if y'all are like this, but I feel like I'm a naturally fast driver. Like, if I don't pay attention to the speed limit, I can go, like, 10 to 15 over and then realize, oh, I'm speeding. And it's, like, not on purpose. I just naturally drive fast. I attest it to me being from Texas because... The speed limits on highways are set like five to 10 miles, well, typically 10 miles higher than they are in Colorado. Cause a lot of Colorado highways are set to like 55, which to me is really slow. Um, and in Texas, it's like 70, 75. Some highways in Colorado get up to 65, but a lot of them, you know, not all, all of them, but I would say probably majority of them are 65 but the main one i-25 that one's at 55 miles per hour and it is the most infuriating speed limit especially on that highway because no one really wants to go 55 miles an hour We've arrived so i'm hoping it doesn't seem like the parking lot is full but she's got two masks here two masks i see that the camera moved but i will maybe check you guys inside y'all know i'm a little shy when it comes to vlogging in public so i will try my best i'll try my best 
Okay, so I just left ARC and I don't know, you, yeah, you can't see because it's really dark. I got two cute little vases and I ended up buying a chair. <laughs> I fully, I fully was not expecting to buy a chair tonight. Um, I've been meaning to like buy a chair, like just like a nice kind of traditional chair and um, something that I could possibly reupholster. And yeah, it has really good bones on it, really good structure. It's wooden, like dark wood detail, like almost walnut, uh, cherry, you know, kind of colors. It's a little bit of red in there. So yeah, it's really, really nice. And I will show you when I get home. Thing is, I have to haul this chair all the way up. But it costs, like this chair literally cost me $20. And if I reupholster it, I mean, that will probably be really expensive. Reupholstering is like not cheap. But if I can maybe learn how to do it myself, then maybe. Or maybe I can do like fabric paint or something. Because um, I know that's a thing. So I just can't believe I bought a chair. I was fully not expecting to and I think that's kind of how life is in a lot of ways like I've gone to that same thrift store and I've gone thrift shopping so many times with the intent of trying to find like a really nice chair that has cushion that I could put in my room and with no success and tonight I like went in with the intention of buying you know vases found some they're kind of small they're not like in terms of the opening they're not they don't have a large mouth but I was just like oh let me just look at the chairs let's just see if there's anything that's kind of you know sticking to me and I just like looked at this one and I took a picture of it and I was just like should I get this I was gonna call my grandma and be like hey should I get this chair and then this elderly man was sitting next to the chair he's like I sat in it earlier it it's a really nice chair um and you know he was kind of talking to me about it for a little bit he's like you know the structure of it's really nice and like he's like I really like the handle like the armchair the armrests and I was like yeah I really like the arms and the legs that are on it like I just they look like a traditional chair to me and you know I really really like that and so he kind of just convinced me by telling me everything that he liked about the chair and I was just like I'm just gonna get it and the print is like in a nice neutral print I don't think I would reupholster it for a while because you know that stuff ain't cheap and I would want to get it done properly you know maybe like paint it but I don't know I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this chair but fully was not expecting getting a chair today um, for sure gotta clean it for sure gotta clean it before I sit in it well this is the chair it's a lot bigger in my room than I thought but it's a nice chair you know time to show y'all the vases that I got the vases so we'll do it from here so I got this one it's really textured and it's kind of like a sagey green color you just can't tell because of the lighting And the next one I got is, is this zoomed in? Yes. The next one that I got is this, um, it's like white with black and it's like a different color on the inside. It's really nice. So as you can see, they have small mouths. So, but at least, you know, two of them together, I can um, put on the same little table here. And now that I'm thinking about it, the green matches like you know the green pillows that are on my bed and then I have like a black and white pattern pillow and that kind of matches this so that is Le Hall yeah I'm really liking the chair I think it looks really nice 
definitely have to clean it. Um, can't believe I got it for like literally $20. <sighs> Even Facebook Marketplace didn't have chairs like this for that price. Welcome to my bed. You can see my pillow, the inside of my pillow. Let me just cover that. Let's see. Is this better? Is this, is this what the kids want? Okay. Well, y'all, we've made it to the end of the day. I have done a lot, I feel like, but also not at the same time. I think it's because I watched like several episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race and each episode is like an hour long, but much needed. And I mean, I cleaned. I didn't film me reorganizing my nightstand or side table, however you want to call it. Um, but it's like fully organized now. Looks like my computer's finished charging. I also use like this like breakfast table, like, you know, bed table as my laptop stand. I don't really eat on this. It's purely just for my laptop, but I love it. Anyways, I think that is enough of me rambling. I am going to continue watching Paige Wassell's YouTube channel. I've recently discovered her. She does a lot of home reviews and like things that I hate in interior design. And I just love her whole vibe. And yeah, I've been watching her for a few weeks now. So really, really like her content. And then I'm going to read The Witcher. I also finished reading The Alchemist, which is honestly, if you haven't read The Alchemist, I recommend reading it. It's about like life and the journey in life, the trials and tribulations, the joy that happens in the midst of suffering in the midst of you know going through trials and tribulations and just learning that everything has a purpose and can serve a purpose in its current form but also like when it's transformed into something else that is beyond itself it can serve a new purpose and have new meaning it's really a beautiful story and it's beautifully written I really like it. I'm not like an English literature grammar person, but you know, typically like when a book leaves me feeling light and really good and positive, I think it's like one of those really good books that everyone can relate to and, and, and learn something from. My favorite book of all time is When Breath Becomes Air. That one, it's like, it's sad, but it's like, I describe it as you're inside, right? Like you're inside, there's white walls, you're looking up into a window and this window has like the perfect blue sky with fluffy white clouds and it just feels fresh and you feel light and airy and just looking at it, knowing that the sun is shining it just makes you feel good, you know, like that type of thing of, you know, with it, with a tin, a tidge of sadness, like, so that there's like reality there, but it's still kind of that joy and suffering. And it's a really, really good book. I highly recommend that book to everyone. When Breath Becomes Air and The Alchemist now that I've read that book is so good. Love that. Anyways, I've chatted to you for about 12 minutes now, so I am going to end the vlog here if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is going to be a lengthy video, but I try. I try to keep them short and sweet, but I just get to chatting. I get to talking. I think it's just easy to talk to y'all, you know? But anyways, um, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.